Well, the impact on the travel and aviation sector has been devastating. What about the tourism destinations that benefit from overseas visitors? Well, joining me now live is the Prime Minister of St Lucia, Alan Chastanet. Prime Minister, good afternoon to you. How important is tourism to St Lucia? Well, it's our largest economy. Um, it is... Uh the largest foreign exchange earner and it's the number one employer in our destination. So pretty important there. Now you've had the lowest COVID rates in the Caribbean. How have you managed that? Um, you know, from the, the get-go, we started a process of uh, adopting a term called coexisting with COVID. Um, and uh, we adopted some very stringent protocols, uh, starting with the fact that uh, in the early days, that we could not proceed in opening up the economy until we were able to solve the COVID problem. Um, so we locked down like many of the other countries and have been slowly opening up our economies um, since uh, the uh, May. Um, in June, we opened up our doors for tourism and we started receiving our first set of guests in uh, the beginning of July. So we've had almost two months of receiving uh, tourists into our country and the protocols that we've adopted um, have been working very successfully. And how many people have started visiting since you welcomed people back? 9th of July, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, we started on uh, July 9th, and we've had over 5,000 uh, arrivals, primarily Americans and some Brits um, uh, since then. Uh, we do pre-testing um, before people uh, come down. We have some very stringent protocols, both for the guests as well as for the staff. Um, and we're now in the process of going into phase two, in which we now will open up our some of our attractions. So when the tourists are here right now, they're really restricted to being on the property and doing some sea tours. And we're hoping to be able to open up some of our land tours in, uh, in the month of September. And I gather uh, there are further uh, restrictions being loosened in October. What, what's happening then? Um, we're really looking to have more of our hotels open. In fact, uh, British Airways will be starting a daily service to, uh, to St. Lucia in October. Um, right now, we have about one-third of our, our hotels open. We're hoping to have about two-thirds of our hotels open in October. And by that time, as I indicated, that we should be seeing the opening up of our famous Sulphur Springs, tours to our Pitons, hiking throughout the islands, our zip line operations. And so all those operations are being currently um, certified as we speak. Um, and we're now, you know, on a huge crusade to really convince the airline industry, challenge them to adopt pre-testing as a prerequisite to traveling. I mean, we've, we've certainly not seen um, the return to travel to the extent that we would like to. I mean, I was a vice president of marketing and sales for Air Jamaica when we had 9-11. Um, and it would be difficult to think that persons would have traveled if, in fact, the stringent security processes that followed 9-11 had not been implemented. And we think the same thing here. Airlines cannot fly um, with COVID social distancing, meaning the middle aisle free. Um, it's just not economically feasible for them to do that. And I think it helps a, in a big way if persons are pre-tested, you know that you're going on a flight in which everybody's been pre-tested. Um, and we have seen that that protocol has worked very well. St. Lucia um, has the lowest COVID rate uh, per capita. Um, we've not had any deaths on our island. Thank God we're very blessed. Um, people have worked very hard to achieve that. Um, but we know that uh, pre-testing is a, a critical prerequisite for persons coming on the island. And what about the wider Caribbean region? Are you having many conversations with prime ministers of other islands about uh, cooperation in this regard? Look, I'm very proud of my, uh, my colleagues. Um, the Caribbean, in, in, on the whole, has done extremely well um, and uh, something that we should be very proud about. Uh, we've also talked about creating bubbles. So we uh, do have a bubble with the Eastern Caribbean, Grenada, St. Vincent, Barbados, Dominica, and St. Lucia. Uh, we are currently in discussions with the cruise industries um, in terms of putting itineraries together as a bubble. So, for instance, if the itinerary includes five islands, those five islands would actually be treated as one singular uh, destination. Uh, you know, we're very lucky we had World Cup cricket in 2007, and a lot of protocols that we had established then uh, we're now reintroducing now to be able to help us create these bubbles. All right, Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, thank you for joining me, and uh, best of luck as you continue to reopen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.